The guy that we're covering today is just on a whole new level of acting laughably stupid because he built an entire life and career off of trying to get arrested for attention on TikTok. You know, normal career aspirations in 2023. You know, alongside of being a TikTok NPC streamer. But he was recently arrested and permanently banned on TikTok, so it's safe to say we have quite the story for today. And the person that we're talking about today is Anthony Gagne, and his entire shtick was trying to get arrested by the FBI. FBI, I am a criminal come to my door. That was a joke. Or was it? My first question is why, but I also know this is by far going to be the tamest video we're going to be looking at today. Because he also filmed himself searching up everything possible on Google that you would think would put you on some sort of list somewhere. I'm back, baby. Trying to get the FBI at my door. P71. Hey, Google. Where can I buy working lines? I found a few department stores near you. And uh, since the FBI didn't show up to his door, he continued by making this. Trying to get the FBI at my door? The 84. Today, I'm looking for accomplices to help my new business. The trick is to remove a couple, so people think someone's already interested and it might be legit. Maybe a new recruit. I don't think anyone would actually take that seriously. It's more or less just a funny bit for TikTok. If you see that on the road, you'd be like, oh, wow, look at that. A side quest that could get me prison time. No, thank you. But then he steps it up. Trying to get the FBI at my door. Day 75. <laughs> if that doesn't get me a visit, I don't know what will. Um, not sure which bin I'm supposed to use for that, but, ah, let's recycle. Done. And now all we have to do is wait for the neighbors to realize. My neighbor was watching. <laughs> I just realized, why is he trying to get the FBI to come to his door when he lives in Canada? I mean, he's probably just using the FBI name for clickbait purposes, but also, as long as there's like no actual body in that bag, the worst thing that could happen is like a neighbor complaint, or if he lives in an HOA neighborhood, he gets some sort of HOA fine. But to nobody's surprise, the FBI didn't show up. So I guess he just got desperate and called them himself. Trying to get the FBI at my door? They want 100. Guys, this is it. I'm calling the FBI. Well, I'm calling to report uh, myself because um, uh, I've been trying and you guys don't come at my door and I'm kind of sick of trying. Like, do you know everything I've done? So what have you done? I've been really suspicious. I, I bought a lot of uh, suspicious items. Um, what have you bought? Well, uh, chainsaws. Why did you buy these things? Well, for fun. I feel like normally here on this channel, we cover people doing like one or two stupid things, but this guy is just doing small stupid things very consistently for years at this point. And when you combine all these small stupid things, it just makes them very unemployable. But finally, he got his wish. The FBI showed up to his door. Or, well, the Canadian version of it. Trying to get the FBI at my door? We did it, guys. It's over. Two days ago, at 11 a.m.-ish, someone knocks at my door and wakes me up. So half asleep, I opened the door, and two anti-terrorism agents from the RCMP were in front of me. The story short, apparently many of you called the FBI to say I had boom devices in my basement. So the FBI asked the RCMP in Canada to investigate. So they found everything. They probably even joined the Discord to have more information. <laughs> they basically said, now you have what you wanted. Uh, if you continue, you'll be criminally charged and probably go to jail. Like I said, I was half asleep during the encounter, meaning I didn't manage to record everything. But I managed to record them leaving. Also, my phone died while I was filming them leaving. But here's what I got. Here's 
It's the end of our journey, but it's the start of another one. I'm going to come up with new series soon. I'm not quitting TikTok. Um, I'm just quitting this series. See you guys. I really feel like this is proof that society is in a free fall considering this person is aspiring to do this for a career. But okay, did he learn from this? No. Absolutely not, because he changed the title of his series from trying to get the FBI to my door to trying to get the police at my door. Trying to get the police at my door, day seven. So this is a Canadian bank. Wish me luck. <laughs> oh, man. <laughs> And this caught up with him quickly as he's now been arrested for allegedly committing false crimes to increase his popularity, the police say. That must be a Canadian charge for sure because I've never heard of that. But apparently what happened was he received a comment on TikTok, which is now banned, saying, get a van that said free candy and drive it at night, where he replied, yes, sir, it was even already on my list. And after looking around for a while, I actually managed to find this video. <laughs> Want some candy? This dude. <laughs> if he wasn't actively trying to get arrested, he would have probably been fine until he actually started going to what it looks like to be a school to give away candy. <laughs> Bro, I don't care if it's all for content. That's weird. Don't mess with other people's kids. And just to make himself look even worse, in his most recent video before, I guess, he got arrested, he just stuck a shovel in someone's grave. This is an unboxing video. <laughs> What I'm slowly realizing is good comedians also have good social antennas because they understand what they can say and do and what they cannot say and do because that's not something you do. But according to the Daily Hive, that free candy stunt of his caused the police to start investigating him. And that's where they found he essentially tried to waste the time of law enforcement over a hundred times. But what's really weird about this guy is like he even met up with the police for their investigation, but then he went home and continued to make videos trying to get the police to show up to his door. <laughs> Why? Why would you do that? So he was recently arrested and he's facing the charge of attempted public mischief, but he was released shortly after on the condition that he is prohibited from sharing or publishing content on social networks. Well, the police said in quote, it's time people understood that gestures or words spoken on social networks are not without consequences. Whether the police are incited virtually or in person to launch an investigation under a false pretext is a crime. Well, it's clear now that his life as a TikTok prankster is now over, considering he's now been permanently banned from TikTok, and I don't even know how long he's prohibited from using other social networks. What sucks for him, though, is any future employer is going to see this, but he literally asked for it, so I can't really say I feel bad for him. I did see you talked about it a little bit in the comments of one of his videos, replying to someone commenting, now you're in jail, right? And Gagne replied by saying, not right now, but I've been criminally charged, and I'm waiting for the case to be dismissed to be able to post again, because if I do now, I'll be sent to jail until the court date in September. It shouldn't even reach trial. The police screwed up so bad. They have absolutely nothing against me and I'm suing them. I want to humiliate those corrupted and incompetent detectives and turn this whole mess into something as positive as can be. And then someone then replied like yesterday saying, has it been dismissed yet? Where he replied, no, just learned I can't even ask for a month. So hey, good luck to him for sorting out that massive mess. But speaking of other TikTokers who got banned, this TikTok doctor lost her medical license over this TikTok. So I definitely recommend you guys checking out that video and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.